Hello YouTube, we are back with another video, today we are starting a new series, which is a series showcasing some team builds I have come up with. I've got a lot of requests from you guys saying you want the team showcased in my videos, so I will start to make some teams. I hope you do enjoy as a lot of thought has gone into these videos and they do take time. Click the subscribe and like button for more content like this, as it motivates me to carry on. The aim is 1k subs right now and I know we can hit it soon. Let's get into the video. Okay so the main loom in this team build is Cosmere. This loom is great due to its ability and can become extremely versatile. Its ability to take broken abilities and start sweeping is great for this meta. This team is bulky offensive as I am trying to get away from semi-stall or stall teams as they are very boring and wastes hours of your life. So we have Cosmere which is our surrogate user, tick for slap down swapians, and can break some walls, whilst being able to give total eclipse to Cosmere, Himbra is our trap setter, and can deal with air types such as Zeph and Avi, and can give awakening to Ko's to increase damage. Wrestlin is in the team to break some walls, whilst also being able to give ace to Ko's. If Wrestlin isn't in the team, Himbra most likely will be but Cosmere prefers ace over awakening. We have Jolt as it is broken, and Cosmere can take ambush if needed. Jolt is also quite bulky and hits very hard. Amulet can be put onto Jolt instead of Cosmere if you want. For our walls, we have Lumi. This loom is needed nearly on every team as its pivot is just great and can swap into half the meta. Chart is here for looms such as Proto, Valkyrie and Nevermore if you need to play around with it and can remove traps. This team doesn't actually have a poison type for barbs, but you can definitely use Burn Up Chart if you want, or just completely swap it out for Venelin, however you will not be able to take out traps. Let's get into some of the sets of looms. So for the main loom of the team, Cosmere. I am running Brawny on this set as it boasts bore and damage is just great. I am running Amulet on it as I want this Cosmere to sweep, and I don't want to run Slumber, so Amulet was the best choice for me. This loom has insane melee attack and can hit looms very hard. For the moves, I am running Hypno, yes I know bad move, but it allows me to set up, bulk up to increase my stats, and my two stab moves, Cerebral Slash and Meteor Smash. I am obviously running the ability Surrogate which allows Cosmere to be as broken as it is. The TPs are pretty basic, and I will probably showcase a video on Cosmere in the future. Let's get into the next loom. So Tick is one of the main parts of this team. This loom can break walls whilst also having a broken ability. The personality I have chosen to go for is very smart to maximize its damage output whilst pairing it with Light Essence. This is probably one of the most used looms in this meta and rightfully so. Here is the moves and TPs I am running on it, I will just briefly go through the TPs on the looms as I do not want to make the video too long. But these are all my sets that I have previously showcased on my channel before. Himbra is our next loom, a fully offensive Himbra and Trap Setter. I forgot to change the moves around before lol. The next loom is Wrestling. A loom with great wall breaking ability and can hit things very hard. Again your very standard set and nothing too special about it. I have chosen to go for quick pounce as the team is not very fast so yeah. Next loom is Jolt. Then Lumi which is our main pivot and can swap into most melee attackers. The last loom is Shard. This loom is our Flash and Flea Absorber and our Proto and Valkyrie swap. Again Burn Up Shard with Mysterious Dust can be used to get rid of barbs if that is really causing you an issue, but again this is the set I always use. Anyway we have finally gone through the team, let's get into the battles. I hope you make it to the end lol.
A few moments later.